Welcome to Reviews by Women. Today we're reviewing The Young Victoria. It was directed by Jean-Marc Vallée. Emily Blunt played Young Victoria and Rupert Friend played Prince Albert. Yeah. A dramatization of the early years of Queen Victoria, beginning just before her ascension to the throne and then following her relationship with Prince Albert. We have this image in our mind of this dowdy, heavy set Queen Victoria with this lace coverlet that right. she wore for all her life, you know, sort of harumphing her way. And here was this young thing. As, whether or not it was accurate, it was still nice to think that, you know, everybody's young and vivacious at some point in their lives. That's right. Just overall, what do you yes. think of the quality of the acting of all the characters in the movie? Well, interestingly, you omitted the character that I particularly liked. Oh, yeah. okay. I love the character of uh, King William, played by Jim Broadbent. Amongst all the royalty, he was the one that was the aging monarch and had the guts, was immune from political correctness, so he was kind of this sweaty old drunk almost, but who could tell the truth the way it was. And I thought he just he captured that, you know, aging royalty beautifully. All the acting, I thought it was all high, very high quality. Yeah, and then what did you think of the costumes? Were they okay or were they fabulous or? Are you joking? No, I know. <laughs> Just tell me, tell me what you think. Tell you. It was a feast for the eyes. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I came away as though I'd been through an art gallery and I had all these colors dancing in my head. Right. So what do you think of the locations overall? Were they um, okay, adequate, fabulous? I could live in you could live one with of them, them, darling. <laughs> okay. And doesn't that sound like this would be the perfect movie and excellent in every way? It's, it's a but. What's wrong with it? What am I thinking? I thought it was a very satisfying film, as though you were lying in a warm bath. But ah. there's no tumult, nothing. Well, there's really a little that bit, but it's not not enough. And not enough. You, you said right. warm bath. Here's yeah. what I said. Okay. It's a pleasant walk in the park. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It concentrated largely on her romantic relationship. I felt, and not so much on the political uh, weight that she must have. That's what was missing. It's a great lack because Victoria is noted as being a woman who was able to occupy this position. They mentioned briefly, oh, the housing for the poor is not very good, and then, you, and then they try to help them later. Mm -hmm. But it's like, where is that? Show me the yeah. bad housing. They just took the icing. They gave us too much of the candelabra and the, <laughs> and the sumptuous feasts and the pretty dresses and um, left out really what was the main core of her life. It reminded me a little bit of the lifestyles of the rich and famous. <laughs> Just because you feel like a voyeur enjoying, you know, opulence when you probably will never be right. in that situation yourself. Alas. That, that is a great appeal. The colors, it was like a saturated primary colors all the time. Scarlet tunics and white steeds. Mm. and uh, braid and brocade, ermine and jewels, and, and all softened with this candle-light glow. Mm -hmm. I thought that lent a very lovely aura. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was only later when I thought, I'm thinking about this movie, and nothing really made me, oh, I just have to tell someone about it. I didn't really feel that way. It wasn't a compelling story. I don't think it needed to be told. So. It was just sweet and celibate looking. Right, although they had nine children. <laughs> <laughs>